<laughs> Greg has been out at all of our uh, all of our community meetings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Oh, my bad again. Sorry. Oh no! Oh, not you! Oh, 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 I thought you were like only oh, no, no, one unmasked guy. <laughs> Uh, oh, gotcha. <laughs> I think it's just gratuitous and disrespectful not to wear a mask in this situation. It's also so irresponsible that, you know, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's uh, annoying. California just released its new rules for social distancing, prohibiting gatherings of more than three households at any time. Under the document from the California Department of Public Health, singing, chanting, and shouting at outdoor gatherings are, quote, strongly discouraged due to the higher risk of COVID-19 transmission. All private gatherings must limit attendees. Quibble about the guidelines, et cetera, et cetera, but the spirit of what I'm preaching all the time uh, was contradicted, and I got to own that, and so I want to apologize to you. The most powerful woman in America can be seen with wet hair inside a salon in San Francisco. Problem is, under California COVID-19 regulations, clients cannot be serviced indoors. As it turns out, it was a setup, so I take responsibility for falling for a setup. Don't be stupid. Wear a mask. Social distance. Don't be stupid. Wear a mask. Social distance. It's a great day for our country. We get to take our democracy back. California Senator Dianne Feinstein wrote a letter to the FAA demanding everyone wear masks in airports. Feinstein wrote that we need a mandatory mask policy for all airport and airline employees and passengers, end quote. Well, given that, today, this show exclusively attained photographs of, and this is going to rock your world, Dianne Feinstein in a private terminal at Dulles Airport, an FBO, as they say, in private aviation, on Friday. In the photographs, Feinstein can be seen smiling without a mask on. Masks should be worn at all times on the floor. This is not only for the safety of other senators. This is for the safety of our staffs, everyone who works here on the floor, and everyone who works here in this building, as well as setting the right example for the American people. Was it essential? Absolutely. Let me let me just say this, Sam. I do a lot of things to advance the interests of the District of Columbia. And some of them are formal and some of them are informal, but all of them are necessary. I had a good time at the Black Cat, and I think it's sad that um, this is even a story. Um, the fact is um, there was something that was really um, monumental that occurred. Give me a clue. Tony, 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 the original members, the brothers, Raphael Sadiq and Dwayne Wiggins, they are just really um, some of the most incredible artists in the history of this country and the Bay Area in particular. And the fact that that is getting lost here is very unfortunate. These